Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a Stamping Up UK independent demonstrator and you're joining me today for a blog hop. So I'm joining in with the Poodlers again and we're doing a blog hop based on the Celebration catalogue today and we're featuring products that's in here. My card is this one here which is using the amazing U Suite and Thinlets and it features three items in the Celebration catalogue. So the paper is from the fizzy paper. I think it's just fizz, it's the bottle one. And this is normally six inch by six inch, but I've halved it for my paper shares. And I'm using this one here. And you could use it either way for this project. And you could perhaps color the, pitch, the um, flowers in alternate colors, perhaps Bermuda Bay and Calypso Coral, or put some Daffodil Delight in with the blends. But I've decided to keep it with Bermuda Bay. And then the stamp set is also a level one. So there's the stamp set. And it's quite cute. It's got Let's You, Are Simply, To Me, Celebrate and Amazing. And it's just got these gorgeous pictures down the bottom, which is so lovely to colour in. Or this one is, particularly. I like colouring that one. And then you also have three dies, which is You. It's amazing. And the other die... I will show you from the catalogue is Celebrate, which is that one just there. The reason why I can't show it you now is because I've lost it. I opened it this morning because I was going to put Celebrate on the card. And I opened it this morning, looked at it and thought, that is a perfect size. Let me get my ruler and then I can work out my paper measurements. So I put it down. And apparently that was a big mistake because I can't remember where I've put it down. I have searched everywhere. I'm not the only person who searched. I've made other search so they can see it. <laughs> we can't find it. So there is a Celebrate Thinlet and I will feature it in a project as soon as I've found it. Um, I've been through all the bins as well in case I threw it away with scraps, but no, it's gone for a little walk. So I just have the two, which is you and amazing. I've already gone and put the amazing through the big shot so that I could put it on this card. So let me explain to you the measurements. I have got a piece of the very thick Whisper White. I've cut it to A5 and I'm just gonna fold it over. I've already pre-scored this. So let me just find my, my bone folder. So that's the size that you roughly want. Then you want your piece of DSP. You want to cut that down so it's A5 in length but that it's just three and a half inches. Okay, you want a piece of Whisper White that is three inches, and I cut this one down to five inches, so it just sits sort of like that in the middle. You want a golden library clip, one of these binder sort of clips, these ones. These can get really stuck when you first get them. You might think they're not working. Just push you can't break them and then it works but the first time you really have to push it and then I've just got some glimmer paper from the new occasions catalog I've also cut it so it's the right length to sit flush on the card but this is three and three quarter inches wide instead so I'm going to show you how to do the postcard this isn't adhered to the card at all it's just stuck with a library kit clip so I'll explain to you how I did it if you had the um, adhesive sheets, they would be ideal for this because this is quite a thin die. As it is, I'm just going to use Tombow, which also works, but you have to have a very light hand for it so that you don't get a great wad of Tombow come out. And just... Oh, you know what would have been probably easier? The fine tip glue pen. I've only just thought about it and it's sitting right in front of me, but... I've used Tombow. That's good. <laughs> Tombow works just as, as well for it, really, but the fine tip glue pen would probably be easier if you've got it. Okay. So I've gone all the way around there, and I'm just going to stick it onto the middle of the card straight. So about there. I'm just doing it by eyeballing I'm not doing anything really specific with it and then I'm just going to come along with 
my piercing tool because I've got a bit of icky there. And get rid of that. There we go. So the stamps I used are You Are Amazing To Me. So that's this one correctly and To Me, but I use the R from R Simply, so you only need a half ink that stamp. Or if you do have the basic black stamp and write marker, that would be brilliant. But I don't, so I'm just using my Memento. And I'm going to come in with you first and put that just about there. And then to me fits perfectly between the Z and the G. Make sure I've got it the right way around. Just there. And then all you want to do when you're stamping are simple is put your finger in so you know exactly where you need to be inking up to. So that you just get the R and not the S. Okay, and I can't see right overhead. You can see better than me. Hopefully, yes. That's in the right place. It's really hard when filming and you guys are here because that's where my head normally is. So I can never see if I'm over the top of it. Right, with this I'm using the this sort of half moon spray thing. This looks really nice if you colour in the centre and flick out with the stamping blends in perhaps a yellow to create a horizon. But I'm keeping it completely plain for this because I'm colouring in the flowers and I didn't want to, you know, too much. So I'm also going to do that. Oh, almost, almost. Just going to put that there. Okay. And then come in with the flower. Okay. My, no, you can probably see my hair. I don't know whether you could or couldn't. I've just straightened it, so it looks okay if you could see the top of it. Well, I think it looks okay. I haven't seen it from that angle. I'll be playing back now to see if I need to go and sort the straighteners out. <laughs> I'm going out tonight for a friend's birthday. We're going to go and play Laser Quest. I haven't really been since I was a kid. Um, I love laser tag. Right, just... So I've got my black hoodie and my black jeans ready because... You know, people can't see me in there, that will ruin it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure I was kind of even. There we go. So that is the postcard of it. And you just want your stamping blends then. So you want your dark Bermuda Bay, your light Bermuda Bay and your um, colour lifter. I forgot the name there. Between losing my dye today, the fact that I have a slight bit of a cold, so it's meant that filming's been a bit on and off today, depending on when I sniffle and sneeze. I dropped half of my paper behind my unit. And I I forget the name of the colour lifter. Don't feel like I'm having the best of best of days today. Let's put some dots on that. Okay, so I'm just dotting around. I'm not really going exactly where their dots are. I just figure just a bit of grunge in the leaves will look look quite nice. Okay. And then just straight over it with the lighter colour. If you haven't got the blends and you just want to use the Stampin' Right markers, that's fine as are. Well. Obviously, it won't have as many tones in it. But it'll still colour just as nice. I think since the blends have come out, I often forget about using my stamp and write markers. Still use the blender pen. I love the blender pen. There we go.
and then these ones just rushing through it's a bit I think I said this in one of my other videos I like using the blends but I'm not that keen on using them in videos because I just I find I'm just sitting here really quietly so apologies Just a few dots. It is really fulfilling to get a whole card really used from Celebration because you know that you've you've got the card. I mean, you've got the basic things like the Whisper White that you've paid for and your blocks and things, but generally the majority of the card is free. And that is such a lovely feeling. I don't know why I enjoy using free things more than I do paid for things because I'm always worrying if it's paid for have I got value for my money you know I'm going to use this because I paid for it whereas with the free sets they're fun aren't they? there's no worries and to have this level one and level two options so you can build it up is great in case you're unaware celebration runs and you get a level one product when you spend 45 pound or more you get a free level one product the stamp and the papers are level one so you could get one of them free the dies are a level two so that's if you spend 90 pounds you get the dies free if you don't want the dies you could get the stamps and the paper because you could get two level ones with your 90 pound and that's how celebration works and it's until the end of march so it's a great time for doing that it's also if you were ever thinking of joining a great time to do that as well because there are some fantastic offers on um, with joining you get 130 pounds worth of kit for 99 pounds and then you get two free stamp sets, any value stamp sets. You don't get the celebration ones, you get the ones from the catalogues, but any value, which I just think is great. Um, you know, you could get a couple of hundred pounds worth of things just for your 99 pounds. If anyone was looking at getting a level two celebration, I would recommend they join because you could just get so much more. So there we go, that's there. I'm going to stick that onto here using the library pen Doo -doo -doo. and that's how that one works I'm going to use my fuse to stick it to the glimmer paper because sticking to glimmer paper can be a bit tricky I'm going to put a bit of fuse because it is a little bit heavy with having the library clip on it and then stick that I did it so that there was more showing at the bottom than there is at the top. If if you are feeling a bit aggrieved with me there, because I, I would normally, because <laughs> I haven't cut this in half, normally I would cut a chunk out so I'm only using a little bit each side. I haven't done it with this because I'm on video and I want to show it you properly. But that one, that's cut in the middle. So if you've got products, save wasting it. No one's going to see the middle if you cut it out. Down there. So I'm using my fuse again for the back of the glimmer paper because that's quite shiny so it is best to use the fuse for it. And then just layer that on top there. Again, I've got more blank at the bottom than I have at the top because I want to stick my dimensionals on. So there are they, I'm just going to use the dark Bermuda Bay, three of those. Okay, and the paper piercer. Just to stick that on there. If you do want to know anything about the Celebration products, or if you would like to join, it's a 
it's a great value item really if you're looking at spending 99 pounds on anything why not get 200 pounds worth of kit i mean great idea just you can give me a bell my number's on my website or you can drop me an email leave me a comment and i'm happy to talk you all through with that but those are the two cards i've made hope you enjoy and let me know what you make with your celebration items thanks for joining me guys bye